Mary Ann Shedd Carey. Born in Wilmington, Delaware in 1823, Mary Ann Shedd was a teacher, journalist, and outspoken leader of the Canadian immigration movement during the 1850s. Shedd grew up in an abolitionist household. She was the eldest child of Abraham Doris Shedd, a prosperous shoemaker and a veteran of a war for the American independence, and Harriet Pernell Shedd. Like many northern elite free blacks, Shad received a Quaker education. It was through her activist family, teaching and journalism that Shad secured a pathway into anti-slavery politics, joining other disenchanted blacks who advocated volunteer relocation to places where slavery had been abolished. Western Canada, now Southern Ontario, became a geographic focal point for many black nationalist immigrationists. Settling in Canada was a symbolic gesture as well as a concrete effort to establish independent free black settlements. Shad herself wrote of the hypocrisy of the United States, which had identified as democracy yet supported slavery. In Canada, part of the British monarchy, blacks would find political and economic freedom. One of the central goals of emigrationists was to establish independent black farming communities free of white control. During her residence in Chatham, Ontario, Shad struggled to keep her school afloat. She eventually abandoned teaching and turned to journalism, taking over the provincial freedom in Windsor, Ontario, in 1853. As the primary editor of Freeman, Shad traveled throughout Ontario and parts of the United States in an effort to drum up subscriptions for the fledgling newspaper. In the process, she wrote essays about her travels revealing her support for sex and race equality. After the Civil War and the death of her husband Thomas Carey, Mary Shedd Carey returned to the United States where she earned a law degree for Harvard University. She died of stomach cancer in Washington, D.C. in 1893.